are you looking for how to connect fit pro app to iphone this is the perfect video to guide you through this works for t55 smartwatch y68 smartwatch or any fit pro smartwatch out there so let's get down to business all right so the first thing to do is to switch on the bluetooth data and location of your iphone so we are going to go to our settings and switch on our bluetooth okay our bluetooth is now switched on our mobile data or wi-fi okay and our location so let's go and open the privacy then switch on our location all right it's switched on so once you have done that then the connection will be easy now the next thing to do is to download the fitpro app at Apple App Store. So if you are using an Android phone, you have to go to your Google Play Store and download the Fit Pro app. So let's go to our App Store and search for Fit Pro app. Fit Pro rather. And search for Fit Pro. All right, so as you can see, we have some options here. So we select the first one and here we have fit pro so please note that there are two fit pro apps here we have the first one which looks like the one on our t55 smartwatch here and we have the second one which is this fit pro watch which works for this smart bracelet okay as you can see it looks like this smart bracelet so don't make a mistake of this this is the recommended one for this type of smartwatch if you are using this smart bracelet you go for the fit pro watch app all right so let's do this because we are using the one of the t55 smartwatch which is this so we'll be downloading this so if you want to see the video of this one um, please check the link in the description i'll make a video on that soon so let's go and download fit pro and i will show you how to connect it easily so install all right so it's now installed on our iphone so the next thing to do is to launch this app so we select the open option here and you are going to see that it's coming up now it's asking us for location access allow fit pro to use your location so you select allow while using app now fit pro would like to use your bluetooth you select ok fit pro would like to track Activities across other complaint apps and website allow. Fit will like to find and connect devices on your local network. Okay. So once you have done that, you come here and select turn on hall. Okay. So that you can have access to the fit to the fit pro app, sleep tracking, step tracking, work and distance, and all sorts. So you select this. As you can see, all these are now toggle on and there is this allow option that just come up. So you select allow up here. When you select allow, it's going to take you to the Fit Pro Hub homepage. Okay, here you can now input your email and password and login. You can also use other um, means to login. You can register here by selecting the register. You can use your WeChat, you can use other social media account to log in and also you can sign in with your Apple. You can also keep the whole process by selecting jump over. Okay, so when you select jump over, it's going to skip the whole process. But I would suggest that you sign in so that you can have access to your data and other step tracking and other useful uh, information. So let's sign in with our uh, Apple and let's log in. Okay, it is signing in for my Gmail account now we have logged in okay so you can see how fast it is you don't have to register much just um assess your apple id and it's going to go now we are at the home page it is not connected yet so this is what you have to do first is to scroll all the way down here and you are going to see on the dashboard home settings motion and me so you select the setting option here you are going to see another page that says no device bind device to experience more features and stuff like that okay so the next thing to do is to select bind device to experience more features so when you select that it's going to bring up 
your T55 smartwatch or whatever fit pro smartwatch that you are trying to connect as you can see it's up here so i'm going to select that and we are going to see if it is connected all right as you can see now it is connected right on the smartwatch you can see this bluetooth icon here that shows it is now connected okay so bluetooth pairing request you select pair prompt says enter the bluetooth system settings open bluetooth search blah 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 you select ok allow t55 to receive your iphone notification select allow and that is it this is just an advert you have to select continue to have fit pro up here and it is syncing up let's just wait for it five minutes later all right so if you are having syncing showing on your smartphone like this and it is not going the best thing to do is just to close the app and relaunch it okay so we are going to close the app right now and relaunch it okay all right so now let's go to our settings once again and you can see our watch is still connected and it's still connected right on our smartphone and our smartwatch okay so let's use the find option to confirm that it is truly connected as you can see it is ringing that shows uh, we can find it and it is connected so let me show you how to use the whatsapp feature of it you go to this message push setting and you are going to see call reminder sms reminder all these having toggle options so you toggle all this on call reminder is already toggle on sms reminder you toggle it on set successfully we shot reminder as you can see it's showing set successfully as i toggle it on so you toggle every of it twitter line whatsapp has already been turned on instagram and some other ones that are here that are not supported if you want to receive notification from them you can toggle them on like this okay cowl talk and linkedin all right so we have toggled every of this option on now you go back and you can now send a whatsapp message to this phone and it's going to come up on our smartwatch so let's just test that and see if it is working all right so i'm going to go to my whatsapp and i'm going to send a message to this smartphone hi Andrew, how are you? Subscribe. All right, let's send the message. As you can see, it dropped. Hi, Andrew, how are you? And right on our smartwatch, smartwatch, you can see the message. You can see the WhatsApp message that shows, Hi, how are you? All right, you can see the whatsapp message that shows hi how are you subscribe so that is how to receive whatsapp messages using your fit pro app. now i'll be showing you how you can also change what paper or what faces on your fit pro app. okay so the next thing to do here if you want to change your what face is to come to this dice settings here select dice settings and you are going to see the dice setting page okay now it is loading you have two options here the default option and the recommend option so it's going to come up right now depending on the network of your area all right so this is what you are going to get once you come to these dice settings you are going to see a default wallpaper here and if you want to change it you come to this recommend you select recommend and it's going to load up the watch faces here okay so if you want to change it or customize it to the watch face that you want just select any of this uh watch paper or what face then it will come up and you can do the needful so let's just select one of these i'll be selecting this one as you can see if you want this particular watch face just select synchronize all right but if you don't want this particular watch face you want to customize it to your own picture or your own photo then you select replace option here so let's select replace and fitpro would like to access your photos you select 
allow access to all photos okay now we have all our photos here i'm going to pick the vine uh, photo here as you can see so we have the cropping image so you have to crop it to your choice let me just crop it to this way if you are okay then you come down here and select done option and select done option you are going to see that the vine will be on the die setting default wallpaper so then you select synchronize okay and so let's synchronize this guy is going to upload to your smartwatch fit pro smartwatch as you can see it is uploading in percentage so you just have to wait for it to load up and it will start showing on your fit pro smartwatch All right, as you can see now, it's up here. Our watch face has just been changed and using Fit Pro Hub. Okay, so this is how it's going to look like, and that is it. Now, if you want to use your camera with your Fit Pro smartwatch, you just have to select your remote shutter here. Okay, and it's going to say Fit Pro would like to access your camera. You select OK and you can use your smartwatch to take photos all right so let me just show you one sample here as you can see it has saved it so if i want it to snap once again i can just select that and it's going to snap it once again so that is pretty much so it. if you want to make time settings to 12 hours or to 24 hours all you have to do is to do the setting on your iphone okay so because the watch itself cannot set its time so all you have to do is to go to your settings on your iphone to the settings on your iphone go to the settings then you go to the general and you scroll down a bit you are going to see date and time so you select that and you can change this date and time to 24 hours time when you set this to 24 hours time it's going to change on your watch here as you can see 10 41 is no longer in 10 41 am so right on your watch is going to change to 10 41 so if it's around 12 it will be going to 12 13 14 15 hours but if i change it once again to like this you are going to see that it's going to change to 10 42 am all right right on the watch is going to use 10 42 am okay so once you have made the changes you are going to see that like this now you can see this is 12 hours so if you toggle off like this it is 12 hours but if you toggle it on like this it is 24 hours so let's just toggle it off this will make it to go to 12 hours that is how to do the time settings on your fit pro watch so that is it if you have any question please let me know in the comment section down below and i'll reply you as soon as possible remember to subscribe i remember about Tundra Motayo. Peace.